the rhinoceros horn kagga visana sutta having put down the what towards all things not harming a single one among them one should not desire a son how then a companion one should live alone like a rhinoceros horn for one who has four bonds there is affection following an affection there is suffering arises discerning the danger born of affection one should live alone like a rhinoceros horn sympathizing with friends dear to the one's heart with mind attached one forsakes the god seeing this peril in intimacy one should live alone like a rhinoceros horn as widespread bamboo becomes entwined just so concern for wives and sons but like a bamboo shoot not getting stuck one should live alone like a rhinoceros horn as a deer unborn in the forest goes off to graze where it wants so a wise person looking out for freedom one should live alone like a rhinoceros horn one is addressed in the midst of companions with the resting standing going or traveling looking out for the freedom that he is not coveted one should live alone like a rhinoceros horn there's a play and delight in the midst of companions and affection for one's son is vast a vast separation from those who are dear one should live alone like a rhinoceros horn at home in the four directions unparalleled contended with anything whatsoever enduring obstacles fearless one should live alone like a rhinoceros horn even some monastics are hard to please so too Householders living at home, being unconcerned about others' sons, one should live alone, like a rhinoceros horn. Having discarded the marks of a layman, like a kovilara tree whose leaves are shed, having cut off a layman's bones, the hero should live alone, like a rhinoceros horn. If one should find a judicious companion a fellow wanderer of good behavior resolute having overcome all obstacles one should live with him satisfied and mindful but if one doesn't find a judicious companion a fellow wanderer of good behavior resolute like a king who has abandoned a conquered realm one should live alone like a rhinoceros horn surely we praise the excellence of companionship one should resort to companion once equal or better not obtaining these as one who ate blamelessly one should live alone like a rhinoceros horn having seen radiant bracelets of gold skillfully fashioned by a goldsmith clashing together in pairs on the arm one should live alone like a rhinoceros horn thus if i had a partner i would incur fond words of address or verbal friction looking out for this peril in the future one should live alone like a rhinoceros horn sensual pleasures are colorful sweet delightful but in their diversity they agitate the mind having seen danger in the stands of sensual pleasure one should live alone like a rhinoceros horn this is adversity a boil disaster an illness a dart and peril for me 
Having seen this peril in the stands of sensual pleasure, one should live alone like a rhinoceros horn. Cold and heat, hunger, thirst, wind, the hot sun, gut flies and serpents. Having patiently endured all these, one should live alone like a rhinoceros horn. As an elephant that has abandoned the herd with massive back, lotus-like, eminent, may live in the forest as he pleases. One should live alone like a rhinoceros horn. It is impossible that one who delights in company might attain even temporal liberation. Having attended to the world of the kingsmen of the sun, one should live alone like a rhinoceros horn. I have transcended the contortions of weaves, reached the fixed course, obtained the path. I have aroused knowledge. I am not to be led by others. One should live alone like a rhinoceros horn. Without greed, without scheming, without thirst, not denying waiting, with stains and delusions blown away, without wishes for anything in the world, one should live alone like a rhinoceros horn. One should avoid an evil companion who shows what is harmful, one settled in unrighteousness. One should not freely associate with one who is intent and heedless. One should live alone like a rhinoceros horn. One should resort to the learned, a bear of Dhamma, an eminent friend gifted with ingenuity. Having known the benefits and removed doubts, one should live alone like a rhinoceros horn. Having found no satisfaction in the world, with play, delight, and sensual pleasures, not taking any interest in them, refraining from ornaments, or speak of truth, one should live alone like a rhinoceros horn. Having abandoned children and wife, father and mother, wealth, grain, and virtues, sensual pleasures according to the limit, one should live alone like a rhinoceros horn. This is a tie. The happiness here is slight. Given little gratification, the suffering here is more. This is a hook. Having known this, a thoughtful person should live alone like a rhinoceros horn. Having sundered the fatters like a fish in the water that has broken a net, like a fire not returning to what has been burnt. One should live alone like a rhinoceros horn. With downcast gaze, not footloose, with guarded faculties, with protected mind, unpolluted, feverish with passion, one should live alone like a rhinoceros horn. Having cast off the marks of a layman, like a parachataka tree that has shed its leaves. Clothed in ochre robes, having pronounced, one should live alone like a rhinoceros horn. Not arousing greed for tastes, not hankering for them, not nourishing others, walking for arms without skipping houses. With a mind unbound to this of that family, one should live alone like a rhinoceros horn. Having abandoned the five obstructions of mind, having dispelled all mental defilements, independent, having cut off affection and hatred, one should live alone like a rhinoceros horn. Having left behind pleasure and pain, 
and previously discarded joy and dejection, having gained purified equanimity and serenity, one should live alone like a vinous in stone. With energy aroused to attain the supreme goal, with unsluggish mind and robust practice, firmly persistent, equipped with strength and power, one should live alone like a virus or a soul. Not neglecting seclusion and jhana, always acting in accordance with the teachings. Having explored the danger in states of existence, one should live alone like a virus or a soul. Yearning for cravings, destruction, heedful, intelligent, learned, mindful, having comprehended the Dhamma, fixed in destiny, vigorous in striving, one should live alone like a virus or a soul. Like a lion unalarmed among sounds, like the wind not caught in a net, Untainted like a lotus by water, one should live alone like a rhinoceros horn. Like the lion, king of beasts, who has fangs as his strength, who lives by attacking and overpowering, one should resort to remote lodgings. One should live alone like a rhinoceros horn. At the night time, pursuing liberation by loving kindness, equanimity, compassion, and altruistic joy, not antagonized by the whole world, one should live alone like a rhinoceros horn. Having abandoned lust, hatred, and delusion, having sundered the flatters that keep one bound, not terrified at the extinction of life. One should live alone like a virus is home. They resort to you and serve you for a motive. Friends without motive are today very rare. Impure people are wise about their own good. One should live alone like a virus is home.